Hello everyone, this is kind of a second version of a first video. The first video talked about listening to your voice without delay, but there was a problem. The original video only worked for analog devices, and I found a new solution for USB devices. This is a question that I've been asked and I couldn't solve at that time. I thought that there was no solution, but after a long research, I found one. We are going to use uh, free software. Well, it has a. Uh, but if you have an analog device, I recommend the other solution. This one works too, but uh, it's a bit harder. The other one is native to, to Windows and it's fine. So I leave you the link in the upper right. And if you have a USB, stay here. It will also help you connect any kind of device that you can imagine because it's kind of a professional software. To install the program, you go to the link I provided. Down here, you will find the download link. This is the light version, it's the free version. After you install the program, you will notice that it will create a new the output device, line 1 virtual audio cable, and also it will install an input device, line 1 virtual cable. After the installation, the virtual cable will be your standard output, so I recommend you change it again to, for example, your speaker or your headset. And finally, the most important part is that you leave a like and a comment so other people can see this video too. And even better, if you, uh, if you share it somewhere, it helps a lot. Okay, now you press the Windows key and you type audio space repeater and you select the I didn't try the this version. I'm you're going to use the MME. You, maybe you can check this one. And here is very very easy and straightforward. Here you select your input device, your microphone, your USB microphone. I just unplug it because I'm recording with the analog microphone. But I selected my USB here, and here I select my speakers or my headset. And the only important, very important property is this one, that is the delay, is the buffer, this is a long buffer. I tested it with 50, 20 and 100. With, with 100 it works perfectly, but with 50 my computer is not enough powerful and 20 also, so uh, it distorts the sound. So I recommend you try with 150 and it, maybe you have a supercomputer and it works with 20 or 50. And that's all. You press start and you will start listening your microphone through your speakers or headset. Okay, that's all for now. Hope it has helped you out. Uh, but remember that this program is very, very powerful. You can check the manual. It offers lots and lots of other options. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.